P containers also work really good for uh, chainsaw bar oil. So yeah, I'll lift this up here. Well, I'll use it another day, Chris. Don't worry. I'll use my P for my chainsaw carving bar oil. Okay, back at the tent. Another day, another dollar. Um, so I went back and uh, looked last night at a picture of this. I don't really like this one too much here. And this wood, this outside wood here, is the lightest cedar I've ever carved. This is, was a big tree. So it's just, let's just do this here. Let's do a water test. So you can see how light it actually is. So this is going to be so dark in here. Hold on. This is going to be so, <coughs> excuse me. This is going to be so dark in here. This wood's kind of light for me, even if I put spar urethane on it. So I might have to, I think like it's going to be a big deciding factor what I put on for the outside clear coat. I think I'm going to probably use a uh, sea tall. I would like to get like a darker red color, like maybe it's a cedar color, but it's some, what do you guys think? Cause the inside is going to be so dark. Like you're not going to see that red and the blue there. It's going to be darker. The, the inside needs to be dark too, because then it will just, I don't want them to offset each other too much. I don't know if my buddy Stu's coming over to uh, do the torch on today, but I found this bucket at home, this recycle bin thing, and it fits in there perfect. So if I do need to start working on it, I can get a pump in here, figure out the wires, carve up here, the hole up there, and see how the water's gonna come out the ice. But I'm not sure, it's a little bit tricky because, well, it's just, what do I do first? You know, I think I'm gonna carve inside here too. But I just don't know. That's the thing. So here's all my pumps and stuff. Pumps and hoses and... I got these drill bits to cut through the ice. I think what I'm gonna do first is take care of this face. So what I did is, I painted this red on that I painted the blue on, so but then I'm going to spray paint it with black and it's going to be like a black wash. I'm probably going to carve this little silly eyeball out. I don't really care for it too much. So I'll put the black paint on and I'll wipe it off quick. And when I use, I use this stuff, this uh, rust of whatever they say, Chris Warrior, rusty ole rusty oleum or whatever. So when I pay the, spray the black on, I use this stuff too because it thins it out and I can wipe it off better. Anyways, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Now it's kind of, whatever. Okay, so I forgot to bring rags. So I got this uh, Walmart recycle bag. I can use it a rag to wipe it off. Um, I got my dust mask there. Um, I got my drill with a nylon wheel. So after I get it all on, I can hit it with a drill and try and buff it out better. It's just like how I use my poly shade when I'm doing at home doing the Dremel Carver. I got the tripod here, so I'll set the camera on the tripod. So hopefully you guys can see what's going on. I got to work fast because the paint wants to dry fast. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to really see what's going on here, but let's try it out. Okay, so I got these uh, cloth gloves on, but underneath this glove, in case you see me smudging it, I got a rubber glove underneath it so the paint can't get on my skin. So um, I guess I'll just kind of roll live and do editing or whatever so i'm going to hit it with a bit of this first just to get it on there then i'm going to hit it with the black then i'm going to wipe it off oops i forgot to carve that eye out Well, that's two. It's come too red. I'm 
too blue. I might just scuff up some high points here. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit too red on the nose. There, I think that's good enough. All right, screw it. I think I'm gonna hit it with some red, blue, black on the uh, inside ones too. Might as well keep it a theme. It's just an experiment. Like, if it doesn't, if it doesn't turn out good, it's it's not a big deal. I can. Uh, Actually, I gotta see if I got some green here. It's just an experiment. Perfect. Cause you know, I like the red was like for where it's rotting here, and the blue and green will be for like water. Oh shit! Hit it when the tips are missing. Oh, that's baby blue. Okay, where'd that green go? Let's hope this tip works. Perfect. Some of you guys are thinking, oh man, is he losing his mind? Okay, now where's the block? This is better. So I can now... Well, it's having a tough time taking the green and the blue away. It's like it's bleeding through. I'm almost out of block.
Yep, out of black. Come on. I must have a little bit more here somewhere. That's okay. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like if I hit it with the smudger. Not made it too green. That's okay. I'll have to get some more black another time and uh, spray it over. Spray it over black again. That's all right. Okay, so the theme of this piece has now shifted. Now it's like, uh, you know, this green kind of like old copper color when it's been weathered. So that's that. I did find some black paint. I, did, I left a little bit of red in there. I'm not too sure if I'm going to leave it. If I don't want to keep it, I'll paint it black. And once everything dries, I can hit it with my buffer and get some uh, high points of the wood too to pop out. So there's now I got to. This is wet. I got to let it dry. So I got the jaw horse set up out here. I guess I'm going to carve a quick wood spirit or something. Man, I gotta pull some carvings for sale. I don't know if I showed you guys this one where I carved this and I put it in the, the owl stump thing. So there's an owl down there, the uh, planters, right? And then the owl up here. Hoo hoo! Hoo hoo! Okay, so I decided to come outside and do some carving. I got this piece of cedar. It was, uh, you can see here, it was st struck by lightning at a young age or something. All this back here. It's all bark, trying, that's the tree trying to heal. So, I figured just for fun, I'm gonna carve a flower up here. Kinda see this, it's gonna have four petals, just the shape of a flower. And then here, I'll carve a wood spirit down here. Or two, one or two. So, what I'm gonna do is I got my gas, I got some bar oil, I got the drill because I had to screw the piece. My Echo 2511 with the 8 inch um, Forrester bar. The uh, drill, high speed drill with sandpaper, uh, disc sandpaper. You have to be careful with these because when you're doing this, and this is PVC pipe, and this is just ready rod and a screw uh, nut here and a lock washer there. But when you're using this stuff, you have to be careful because it can skin your knuckles, right? I got it yesterday. Right there. Uh, a Dremel 4300 plug-in. The Dremel 22, whatever, 8240 cordless. And the Dremel 220 cordless. A Makita die grinder with a cut saw flame silver normal burr on there, quarter inch. This sanding disc. air power and my uh fully automatic ak super bopper duper pooper fucking gun look at that just carved robbie evil rick you got one of those suckers huh fully automatic this sucker just kidding it's a pellet gun high power pellet gun
Okay, so now I need to get this uh, thing off this jack stand and figure out the holes for the water. So I don't break my back doing this. Is getting lighter and lighter and lighter, but it's it's still not light. Okay. Now we're talking. Now you get a visual of it when it's on the ground too. It's a big sucker. I'm gonna stand by it so you guys can see the reference size. Big sucker. So I got these drill bits here. Hold on a sec. I got these drill bits here. That's a loud airplane. Okay, let's start it over. So I got these drill bits here. So they're different sizes. This is a bigger one than this one. So what I'm gonna do, I want more water flow to come out of this eye and less out of here. So this side's gonna have a bigger drill hole for the water than this side. Anyways, I don't know what's going on here. It's just, uh, it's time I need to do it and it's, uh, it just needs to be done. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna drill them up at an angle too. Then, I don't know. I just don't know. Good. I'll put the smaller one in and do the other side. My buddy Chris Gradja showed me this trick with your drill. If you don't want this to spin out, you just turn it, tighten it up, and then click it one back and it's locked in place. Anyways. Okay, so this uh, is going to be going this pupil at eyeball. Anyways, I'm probably wasting your guys' time right now, but okay, so I got this blocked out. Okay, I know it's easy for you to sit there and say you should do this, you should do that, you should do this, you should do that, because you're not actually doing the project and you got great ideas. I appreciate your ideas. But I do things different sometimes just because, well, I get shit done. That's the bottom line. I get shit done. So it's easy to sit there and just like, so anyways, let's just end up there. But so here's the bigger hole here. Okay. And then here's a smaller hole right here. Anyways, let's get that in there. There it is. Okay. So I hope my buddy Stewart is going to be able to torch this in I might have to take more of this back wall off I had to be very careful I didn't want to cut through I marked where the eyes are in the front here so that's where the eyes are in the front so I made it higher because I don't want to just get my tube and put it in the hole turn the pump on and then pumping the water out because then it's gonna splash out some lady left a comment hello there you know like you can get mesh filters 
so the mesh will slow down the water and that's a great idea and thank you for that so I'm gonna get some water in here hook up a pump put some lines up here I might ha I'm gonna have to put the hose directly into the hole right now okay and I do not have a splitter so I can't run both holes at the same time unless I run two pumps okay okay well let's go fill this up okay so this is the pump I'm gonna start with all right so for all you pump pros it's 150 gh ph gph yada 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 I think in the package it said it goes five feet tall in the air if this one's not good enough if it doesn't because you got it you got to make sure it goes up high enough right it's easy to make a short little waterfall and get the water to come out but you need to get one that will pump the water up high enough and out if that doesn't work I got this one this bigger one if that doesn't work I got this one I got like it's a freaking I'm an Amazon freak but I bought this one from Canadian Tire okay the pumps in the water bucket now I'm gonna I have to hold I have to hold this hose up here so because I gotta hold it so it'll go in the hole I'm not gonna nail it down or anything so I'm not gonna see I'm gonna have to film from the front when I'm holding it you guys well I'll see what I'm editing it but that's how I'm gonna only way I'm gonna be able to do it right now okay so I'm hitting record all right and I'm gonna plug it in like I said I have to hold the hose up to the hole this is just a tester okay so the, the water's coming out uh oh see it doesn't pump out that high okay it's in the it's in the going down the little hole right now I can hear it it works I need to turn around see if I can see it oh it's perfect coming down here that's perfect got a couple little splashes now let's try the big hole that's perfect no splashes it is kind of coming out <laughs> excuse me push this in the there I pushed it in the hole that's awesome but you see how it's coming out over here sorry coming out over here but that's okay comes down here a bit it's more movement so I think I'm gonna have to curve this deeper so it doesn't come out this part okay I'm gonna try and rig it so I can come out both holes at the same time okay let's see if this works I put a bag a plastic bag here I don't think this is going to work. I can't see if it's coming out both holes or not. But this is the perfect pump. Man, I gotta. Anyways, I can't see what's going on, so. Well, it was coming see I don't want the water gushing out I want it to 
come out nice and slowly, drip, and then it makes the water noise down at the bottom. That's it for that. See, that's coming out a little bit too fast. But once I, once more water comes out of this eye, it will slow, it won't come out so fast here. It will, more water here, less here. What was that? That's okay coming out there, actually. I don't mind it. Pretty friggin' neat. I might have to get a splitter like you suggest, uh, Spike. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so I'm sure this video is long enough. So that's gonna be it on this one, everybody. I'm gonna blow all this water off so this stuff can dry overnight. Good, it's dry already, but um, just to make it safe, right? Drier, it's better. And then uh, hopefully Stu can show up tomorrow. We can torch here. Stu's got great ideas too. He's my buddy that helps me get the cottonwood bark. He's a roofer. Um, put the put the bucket here, then put the bucket on top, and Bob's your uncle. That's it for this one, everybody. And what color should I make the outside? I don't. It's too too bright. It's it needs to be it needs to be there. Let's do a water test. Oh shoot! Hold on. It's getting late in the day. Okay, let's do a water test down here. So this would be like putting on a clear coat, say of spar or urethane. The spar will make it go a little bit darker than water, but not much. Come on, I'm running out of water. Now, a darker, it's gonna be sea tall, a darker one, a lighter one, or the cedar color. That's it. Thanks for carrying along with this uh, video series, everybody. Hey, warrior, Chris, there's my piss bucket. Yep, you gotta piss in a bucket when you carve on a farm and you got nowhere to go piss. There it is, piss container. Ha <laughs>